Uh, students, another video on blood groups. You know that when blood transfusion takes place, sometimes if you are not tested the blood when it transfuses unknowingly without any testing, that uh, incompatibility due to the incompatibility uh, with the receiver may be died. There's a because of in the 1900s, Carl Lance Steiner found that what it happens like this. Why all times you are not succeed? Sometimes only the receiver, recipient is alive. Sometimes may die. For that, in human beings, blood groups bear here. Blood grouping system is the first one A, B, O. Blood grouping type and RH type. RH type of blood grouping. One is the A, B, O type and RH type. Here is the thing all should not have a same type of blood group. We know that some people may be A group, some people blood group belongs to the B, some may, some may be AB and some are have a O. Along with that, they should possess the some are positive, some are negative blood groups. Here is the thing, how to differentiate the blood groups. For that, two Surface antigens. Surface presence or absence of two surface antigens, which are the A and B on the surface of red blood corpuscles. On the surface of red blood corpuscles which that RPC you know that if it is a blood stream this is a plasma this is a red blood cell on the surface of the RPC that antigens what is antigen antigen means that response chemical response to the it can impact or induce on the immune system that chemical is nothing but there's a carbohydrate group that's nothing but as a antigen. This antigen presence or absence of the antigen on the surface of the RBC. Based on that, we categorize into A group, B group, AB group, and O group. Right? So along with that, plasma also have a antibodies. Antibodies are there in the plasma of the blood. Now these antigen, ignition with the antigen, particular antibody should be there on the in the plasma of the blood. Now based on this, we can cover these blood groups. Now A group, the A group persons which have a on the RBC surface, they have a antigen A, antigen A on the RBC surface. Similarly, in the plasma, they have a anti B. Anti B is the antibody which is present in the plasma of the particular person. If B group person, they should have a antigen on the RPC B, and here antibody is the in plasma. There's an anti A should be there, and moreover, AB group people. Antibodies are absent. Antibodies are nil, but in the RBC surface, they should possess the A and B. Antigens are there. Antibodies are absent in the plasma of AB group people. Whereas the O group, they should not have that antigens in the RBC surface, on the RBC surface. And moreover, these people have a both A and B antibodies 
on the surface on the plasma of the plant so here now a group can receive from the a and o and b group people can receive blood from the b and o and o also and here also was but a b people should not donate blood to the anyone except a b blood they can receive the blood from all groups that's why a b negative is called as a b negative is called as universal recipient o negative is called as the universal donor o negative called as the universal donor a b is the universal recipient now how we differentiate the positive and negative electron here is a castle one more scientist he found that along with the antigens a and b one more antigen there on the upper surface of 85 percentage of people they should possess the one of the other antigen like a ab that is a rh this was find in the rhesus rhesus monkey on the in the rhesus monkey blood he found that one type of antigen is there that similar one present in the human beings also those people have a rh type of antigen in the blood the people we call as a positive those does not have they have a negative blood group put it 85 to 85 percent of population they should have a rh like antigen but other people should not have so those who have called as a rh positive those who are not having rh negative now here the case is the people who are having the rb surface antigen a and they should have a positive a positive if the rh antigen is there a positive if they don't have rh negative that's the rh incompatible also have to check before blood transfusion from one to other right and moreover rh incompatibility is very rare it will happen in the erythroblastosis fetalysis that condition is called as the erythroblastosis fetalysis now this was happens very rarely when the mother pregnant mother maternal have a if here she is a mother and in her womb rh positive fetus is growing when rh positive positive is growing rh positive blood fetal blood which is a fetus mother have a rh negative in such case what happen you know in the first delivery that some leakage between the fetus placenta and the mother due to that in the mother's blood that antibodies will be produced against the rh plus anti genes in the first delivery is a no issue but start growing you know in the second delivery second pregnancy already anti rh antibodies in the mother's blood is there they should destroy the rbc of fetal that case is known as the erythroblastosis fetalysis blastosis erythroblastosis fetalysis means erythro means rbc blasto means that's a destruction of fetus in such case as doctor will be notice and they give the anti rh anti bodies to the mother soon after first delivery first delivery that case is safe second pregnancy only difficult to prevent that they will do the injection after so not the first delivery so this is known as the erythroblastosis fetalysis case right these blood groups are the very very essential before transmission of blood one from the other I have to check the all rh compatibility and blood group compatibility then only that will be safe transmission will be takes place thank you